My name is Demond Harris, man. And, uh, I'm homeless. I've been homeless since I got out of prison in 2022. And I had a tent, man. And I had all my belongings, everything I own, my birth certificate, my medications, my glasses, all my important paperwork, everything, my clothes, everything that I had, I owned. I, that's all I had. And it was right here on uh, Friday, May 10th. I went to. I had an appointment to go to DMV, and I went to DMV, and I had an appointment at 9:30. So I left here about 8:45. So in between 8:45 and 10 o'clock, they came and you know scooped up my stuff. I had my neighbor here, Mark, he was standing here, he tried to save my stuff. Selena's PD told him, no, leave it, we're taking it. And he was like, that's, you know, how can you just take somebody's stuff and they're not here? You know what I'm saying? And then so I went to uh, City Hall later on that day and complained to them. And they, I guess the lady in there, she was helpful. She tried to help me. She said she called. Uh, Selena's PD and Selena's PD claim they did no cleanup. They tried to put the blame on Union Pacific Police or whatever, which made no sense. Why would Union Pacific come off of the tracks into Chinatown where there's no railroad crossings and take my stuff? So, I mean, I just really want, I'm just trying to get my stuff. I mean, I know I'm not going to get my stuff. My stuff is gone. But I know I can, I want some kind of compensation. I'm displaced. Can I get a motel voucher? Can I get somewhere where I can be and get my stuff back right? You know, can you guys help me? You guys displaced me. I wasn't here. You, there was no reason for you to do that. My stuff was not on the sidewalk. You know, it was clearly, it was right here. It was no mess. It was, everything was good. I don't know, I don't understand why they brought a bulldozer over here. And they had just brought a bulldozer like the day before and they told us to move and when we moved everything was fine but then they come back Friday morning when they're not even supposed to be here off they're supposed to be off on Fridays so why would they come and take my stuff I don't understand that and that's all I just want to know that I mean can I can we please just get some help and can I get compensation for my things that are where I've been displaced my name is Mark and um you know, I was here, I was a neighbor right here, I, was, I was a, just got a tent and we were, we were just living out here too, I'm homeless too. And um, they've been going through a series of things, moving around, getting people out of the property, you know, from the tracks to the, the private property to back and forth, and, and they just bulldoze those things, you mean? They take take control of it and they do it, you know, they, they tell you they're going to do it and they just do it, they just come through, you know? And there's, there's nothing, no written notices or anything like that, you know? That's what I understand they're supposed to have. They came down here and... Uh, it was a county truck with a, with a trailer and a, and, a, and a tractor, bulldozer, and they just started pointing out what to do. And they said, if you're, get your, get your stuff and get out of here, or you know, gonna, we're going to take it. And uh, Demond, he wasn't, he wasn't here, you know, and they were going to take his stuff with the bulldozer right away. And they tried start saying, you know, uh, can we just take his stuff and move it for him? And they said, well, you, you can try. He, he said, I could try once. I tried, I tried to pull, I couldn't pull anything. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do it by myself. And they said, that's it, stop. He gave me one try, one attempt, and that was it. And he said, now, now get away from it. And then they, they proceeded with, it, with the bulldozer and just grabbed it all and threw it away. I mean, that's all I know, that's what that happened. Didn't, he didn't go in it, he didn't search it or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're supposed to go in through your stuff and make sure that they're not throwing away important stuff. and things that they're not supposed to, medications and stuff like that. Yeah. Did, he didn't go in there and do none of that? No, no there was, nobody did any, 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 any uh, kind of physical search like that. They just saw what was there and then they just followed the orders and they took it. Um, can you describe the vehicles or the people? Well, I mean, the, the PD is just a typical, you know, Hispanic man, you know, in, in uniform. And the county guys were just, County, county dressed in the county truck and a trailer. There's the guys that always come through here doing this, you know. How, how many, how many people were the? What, what color was the vehicles? Well, uh, the trucks, trucks were white, and I, and I believe that they were, it was in a, a black and white. Okay, and mm -hmm. and the, the bulldozer, what color? Uh, I believe it was yellow. Okay, mm. big, small. It was pretty big. Okay, pretty big. It had a big bucket how, on it. How many, uh, how many city workers were there? Two. There's two. One guy was driving a truck. One guy was driving a bulldozer. And one police officer? And one police officer, yeah. 
it's always good to try to get the, the number on the back of their, their patrol car, if not their actual name and batch number. Um, well, we weren't trying to think about all that. We were just trying right. to get our stuff and move before we could go because, you know, this, we're homeless and this is the only, the only stuff we have, you know, nothing else. Yeah, it was just like that. I mean, they did it and well, we were here and we were, we were packing our things, you know, there's, and uh, they, they let us keep, keep you know, packing. And they, they said, you know, we'll be back in a little while and if you're not gone, we're going to take it, you know. And we proceeded, we just kept doing it, kept moving everything, and we just carried on. So they would have taken everybody's things except for you were able to retrieve your belongings because you were able to move your belongings? Well, because I was present, that's why, you know. That's, that's an as-applied issue. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, was there a posted notice? No, there was no posted notice. There was, there was maybe a verbal warning, you know. How, how far in advance? Um, Maybe 24 hours, if that. Okay, they came the day before. The night before, the day before, yeah. You know, if we go from spot to spot, and then they, they, they make us move from one place, we go to the next one, and then, then they come through and they say, now you got to move from here. You know, and they just, it just goes on and on, you know, from place to place. And it's like back and forth, because then it's like they let you move over here, and then they drive by and they see you, and they're, they don't say nothing to you, you're fine, but then they come back, just on out of the whim and just take your stuff. Right, or a different shift. Yeah, you know what I mean? It just, it's like a never ending battle. It's like, you can't win. How can we win? I mean, I don't, I don't intend to try and just lose my stuff, man. Somebody got to be accountable for my stuff. I'm human just like everybody else. Somebody has to, uh, you know, compensate me for my things. I mean, you know. It, it just, I just can't lose my stuff like that. It's just my everything, my meds, my glasses. I wear glasses, I can't see. You know what I mean? I don't know what to do, you know what I mean? Who do I talk to? Who can help me? We're we just trying to do the best we can with what we have, you know? And, and uh, <laughs> it's like we never get compensated for doing good. I mean, but, but we, we uh, you know, we sure get punishment for, 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 for being present you know, and standing up for what we have, you know. But, like I said, I don't, I don't think it was fair for him to lose his things like that, everything he has, you know, and not being able to defend it at all. I mean, that's, that's yeah, all I'm I can taking say. care of my business. I'm at a uh, DMV trying to get my license and ID and stuff, and they're taking my things. How does that work? I have proof that I was at DMV at that time. So, I mean, it, does, I don't, it doesn't, you know, I don't understand. I mean, and then PD gonna try and blame it on somebody else when they clearly did it. Why would they do that if they know they didn't do nothing wrong? I don't understand that. This is a public area, right? Yeah, it is. So it's open to the public. Thank you. Hello. I'm going to make a copy and then I'll give you a copy with the stamp, okay? Give me one second. All right, Jamal, this is your copy. So I have the original. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to the city clerk. She's going to record it and it's going to go down to our legal department and then they'll send it out to the insurance company and then they'll go ahead and process it from there. Mm -hmm. They'll call you at the number uh, that you provided if they need any further information. Okay. Okay, okay you're welcome. Oh, you too, take care. Did you want any of these sticky notes back or anything? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Take care. Sorry. I said maybe she called the unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.